Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to do balloon kisses on a painting. I've got a commission to do, which is going to be um, half swipe, half balloon kisses. Taken inspiration um, from a YouTube artist called Jilly Cube, who does just amazing looking, really interesting looking paintings. So I'm gonna do balloon kisses. So I'm gonna use this. So it's a balloon with water in, so it's quite heavy. And the idea is that you, I think you just, you, you sort of push it down into the paint and then dab the balloon down elsewhere on the canvas to make these um, beautiful little flower effects. Um, so wish me luck. Let me show you what colors I'm using. So these are the colours that I've mixed. The top half of the canvas is going to have a base colour, which is this um, sky blue. It's Amsterdam sky blue, 50% Amsterdam sky blue, and then 50% Amsterdam white, just to create a slightly paler version. I've got three pinks, Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent, a magenta, and the um, Persian Rose by Amsterdam. So they're, if you imagine that they're going to be sort of flowery colours, and then... I'm adding some green, some iridescent greenish yellow, which is just the most amazing color, a little bit of cadmium yellow, and then a little bit of pearl white. So they've really got a sort of spring meadow feel to this. So I'm, I'm gonna go for half sky blue to, to look like the sky, and then half meadow looking, and then with the little balloon kisses. So it should look like a meadow of beautiful wild flowers. That's the plan. I'll list all the paints in the description and I'll also list the pouring medium in the description, which is two parts PVA glue to one part water. They all will have, um, apart from the blue, a drop of spot on treadmill silicone in the colors because I'd like cells because it's going to be a swipe. Um, canvas I've got ready there is a 30 centimeter diameter round canvas. So I think, and I've got my balloon ready, I think I'm all ready. So uh, let's get started. Right, so I'm all ready. My canvas, I've put the push pins in the back, the really big push pins. Um, and then I put my spirit level on the edges just to make sure that it's completely flat, completely level, because it needs to be, because there's gonna be quite a lot of heavy paint on here. When I did a swipe on a round canvas last, as it was drying, the paint slid a little bit and I realized it was because the canvas wasn't tight enough. So one little trick is if you just splash the back of the canvas with water and just rub the canvas around, so rub the water around, what that does is just tightens the um, material on the canvas. So it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit sort of firmer now, like a drum. It was a little bit saggy before. So it needs to be nice and firm. Right, my plan. So I've got my beautiful sky blue colour. That's going to go on approximately half, maybe maybe slightly less than half. I think I'm just going to pour that on first of all. So this is going to look like the sky. So as I said, I'm going for a, a meadow look. If that's possible. I'm going to get my spatula so I can spread that out. I thought the Amsterdam sky blue on its own was a little bit bright. So I just decided to mix it with the white just to make it a bit paler. And then of course, once this has dried, it will darken anyway. So there's absolutely plenty of paint on there, probably too much. I might just try and scrape some of that over the edges. So I'm going to add some of the colour at the bottom. The um, lovely, lovely lady that this um, commission is for really likes pink. So she wants pink to be the, the really the sort of primary colour here. So I'm going to put lots of pink on here. And then I'm just going to put hints of the green and the yellow. There's obviously a huge risk that I'm going to get brown because I'm mixing pink and green and yellow. So I'm going to go, go easy on the yellow and the green. So I think I'm, going to, I'm just going to pour it on in um, horizontal lines. It doesn't really matter. Thank you. 
Right, I'm just gonna tilt this around a little bit because there's now quite a lot of paint. Because it's very thick, it's, it's gonna move quite slowly, but it will move. So I'm just gonna move it around a little bit just to make sure that all this canvas is covered. And it, that will, by doing that, it will just really level it out as well. Level the paint out so it's all nice and um, smooth. Right, I'm now just going to add just a touch of the white, the pearl white. I don't necessarily think it needs it, but I love pearl white, the effects it gives. Now, some yellow. I think I'm going to go vertically so that I'm going to be swiping downwards, swiping vertically. So I think if I do that, the, there's less chance of it mixing too much to make brown. So I think I might just do some sort of wiggly lines just to give a little hint of brightness, of contrast. If it does mix and I do get some brown, it's it's not the end of the world and it, it won't be a huge amount because there is so much pink here. And then a little bit of my favourite, favourite green and I'm going to do that in exactly the same way. Right, next thing I need to do, I've still got a little bit of naked canvas there. I'm just going to blow upwards a little bit just to try and soften that line to create um, almost some, wis some wispy bits. Right, I'm quite happy with that. That just softens the, the horizon. <laughs> right, what next, what next, what next? Let's torch it. You can see lots and lots of air bubbles in there. Right, and already we've got cells, but even before swiping. So I need to swipe. Um... I think I'll do the swipe next. So to swipe, I'm using some laminating plastic. And I'm going to, so I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna swipe down. I think I'm gonna go for slightly wiggly lines. And I've got different thicknesses. I think actually I'm gonna go for thinner. Let's go for thinner swipes. So I'm gonna put it down. So it's coming into contact all the way. And then just, I'm gonna wiggle it down. Yeah, I'm happy with that because I can see already that that green has stayed quite nice and separate. And the yellow, yeah, really like that. I'm just wiping this, the bit of plastic off so it's clean. And then let's just keep going.
Right, I am loving this so far. These colours are gorgeous. So I'm going to torch it. Let's see what we get. Look what lovely cells we're going to get. Obviously, I've put silicon in, so I'm expecting to get cells. The paint's quite thick, so I may not get loads. But actually, yeah, I am getting quite a few. And I'm not going too close at the moment. Right, I'm just going to stop there, just see what develops from that now. Because what I quite like is to see the cells, but also to see the, the wiggly lines as well. I'd like to create a few little wispy bits coming upwards. So to do that, I'm just going to use a paintbrush, the end of a paintbrush, and just do a few little wiggly lines going upwards, I think. So it will look a little bit, bit like grass, maybe. Right, I'm going to do my balloon kisses now. So what will happen is I will just dip the, just the end of the balloon into the paint. And as I pull it back up, it will kind of suck and draw all the paint together to create a really pretty flower effect. And then because there will be paint on the end of the balloon, I can then now dip that at the top. So it almost looks like flowers that are just floating away in the breeze. Sometimes they look a bit, a bit like butterflies. So I've got lots of beautiful cells here. So I think what would be quite good is to pick bits that I'm not as keen on. So, um, so for example, here, there's not much going on there. So I'm going to try it there. Right, and now I've got that gorgeous paint on the end. Yes, it's worked, it's worked. Brilliant, so now I'm going to wipe that clean. And do some more. Right, that one didn't work. Now, why was that? Did I not have enough paint? I'm just trying to think. But there's no problem because I can go over that. Maybe I pressed too hard. I think I pressed down too hard, so maybe the paint went under the surface more. Okay, let's try again. better much better I think I pressed down too hard and in fact I've still got lovely paint on here so I wonder if I can just reuse it yep yeah, I can right there's a big big bar of yellow down here let's break that up a bit oh I love this this is so different this is so pretty Oh, that one didn't work. I said no problem. I will go back over it. It's got to be gentle with this balloon because I don't want this to burst. Or could you imagine? <laughs> right, I might actually be nearly there because I don't want to overdo this. I think maybe let's do another balloon kiss in there. Right, I think I'm done. I think that might be it. That is so pretty. Oh, I've been in for a close-up. What's gorgeous is where you've got all the cells, but they're all kind of pulled in together. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I'm really happy. Right, I'll bring you in for a close-up. I am so happy with this. It's just so cheerful and vibrant and spring-like and refreshing somehow I think that those hints of yellow and green just make it come alive the cells are amazing let me take you close up and so you can have a really good look so the little kisses can you see them there's there's one there there's one here so they're actually quite subtle there's one here 
there's one here. They're actually quite subtle, but they just make it so pretty. So it's not just cells, it's just such a mixture. I managed to bring the swipe all the way around the side. Um, and then if I show you the sky section, these beautiful little either flowers or petals or butterflies just they just to me they look like they're just sailing away in the breeze and then I like the little detail of these almost look like wispy blades of grass pink grass obviously but um, yeah definitely a, a real spring meadow I think I am really really pleased with it um, it's just so so warm and but vibrant and fresh somehow spring like um, great I will be back when it's dry Right, it's now dry. Um, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is I love it. <laughs> I'm really happy with the striking difference between that pale blue and the bright pink. The colours are gorgeous and I really think from a distance it's um, it really is quite eye-catching just with the, with the contrast. Um, I love these little floaty bits. Absolutely love them. They're just so pretty. The bad news, well, may not be bad news, but the I think the bad news is, unfortunately, the paint has moved. So do you remember, we had all these beautiful, beautiful cells, but unfortunately, that you've got some around the edge still, but unfortunately, the canvas has either, either wasn't level or it sagged slightly there, right in the centre. So it's, it, the, the paint's kind of pulled. And can you see these, these sort of wiggly lines? that's where the paint has has moved a little bit if you stand back i actually think it looks quite good because to me it almost looks like sort of um uh plants in when um, moving in the breeze especially with these bits at the top there so it's like a slightly breezy day and the the meadow is just slightly m moving um so i think it looks like that but it's not as i intended so i'm happy but i'm not happy uh, to give this to the customer because the customer specifically wanted swipe cells and the balloon kisses so i did another one which i've got here which is now dry unfortunately i didn't film this making this um, but i am really happy with this so i showed the customer the first one she said let's have a little bit more pink top uh, sky at the top let's have a little bit less dark pink and it's worked perfectly look at all these cells so you've got the beautiful, beautiful balloon kisses and they have held and they have kept their shape really well. But in between, you've got these areas of cells. So this one has dried perfectly. So really happy with this. The, um, I love these little floaty bits. They just look like flowers floating away in the breeze. Um, so I've shown this one to the customer and she loves it. Really, really happy with it. So it's quite nice in some ways that I did one that didn't go completely well, right so I've been able to show her it's almost like a practice and then I've been able to take her comments and do the second one so let me know which what, what, what you think which do you prefer oh one other difference is I didn't dilute the brown uh, sorry the blue I didn't add any white so this one if you remember this was 50 50 um the sky blue and white this is 100 percent sky blue so you can see the difference so I decided just to try just the sky blue on its own um, and it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous colour. So let me know what you think. Um, yeah, great. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel, leave me any comments um, and have a really good day. Bye.